This video is brought to you by the supporters on Patreon. Hi guys, I'm here with another video in my Brigida work log series, and in this video I'm working on her hip pieces. All of these patterns and templates are available on my store Envy or Etsy if you prefer shopping there or need to use PayPal. To start off, I'm taking my templates and tracing all of them out onto 6mm EVA foam. There are some grooves or indentations on her armor, so I'm taking my pattern and cutting out those areas so that I can trace where those grooves and indentations are onto the foam pieces. Once all of the pieces are traced out, I go ahead and cut it out. For the indentations, I took a box cutter or X-Acto knife and cut out those indentations, like traced around it with the knife, but I didn't cut all the way through the foam. And then I took a heat gun to open that up. You just want to score the foam, and while I was heating that up, I went ahead and heated the whole piece up to shape it and make it a little bit more rounder and curve around my hip the way her armor does. Now I'm taking my Dremel and adding in some of the small details like areas where there would be bolts or screws and just some of the other details that she has when looking at a reference photo. I also Dremel around the edges to smooth that out and some of the edges are beveled. You're going to have to look at a reference photo to figure out what these are, but I found that all of her edges on this piece are beveled except for the edge that is where the top section will connect to the lower section. So to create that bevel, I went ahead and used a scissor to use a pair of scissors to remove most of the the excess and then took a dremel to smooth that all out and further bevel it I did the same thing with the top section of her armor. For this, I found most of this wasn't beveled, so I just kept it as is and smoothed out the edges so that it would look nice. And then went back to adding some details that I had missed on my first go around. And now it's time to attach the two pieces. So to do this, I took a bottle of contact cement and followed the instructions on the bottle when it came to how to adhere the two pieces. Basically, that's just applying the glue to both the, plate, both the pieces and then waiting for that to dry a little bit so that it gets tacky and sticking them together.
Next, I attach the small little triangle details using contact cement. Now that all of the pieces were attached, I used wood glue to prime the piece. I did about three to five layers and I made sure to let the glue dry completely in between each layer. I should also note that by this point I had added some battle damage using my Dremel. You don't have to do this, but if you want to, it's just adding in some cuts and scratches here and there wherever you think it will look good or you see fit with a Dremel at an angle. Once the wood glue was dried, I went ahead and sanded the edges because they were a bit rough and then I applied one last layer of wood glue. Now it was time for painting. I used acrylic paint to paint this entire piece. I started off by painting the silver and did quite a few layers because this was pretty transparent and it didn't have a lot of like full coverage. So it took a bit of work, but it eventually got there. Spray paint might be easier if you prefer that, but the weather just wasn't ideal for this. To paint the yellow pieces yellow, I put down white paint first and then yellow on top of it and that really made the yellow pop and become very opaque. And the last color I added was this kind of silverish white color to these the sections that you can see here. You're going to want to look at a reference photo when painting. Then I topped that all off with a glossy spray paint which again I don't have footage of before adding the shading and to shade these pieces i used oil paint and took a bunch of different brushes to make sure everything was blended out i shaded in all of the grooves and battle damage and around the edges and anywhere else i felt there should be a shadow or a shadow would fall A last minute thing I had to add was this detail on the side of the hip pieces that I almost forgot about. So to add this piece, I created a stencil just out of paper and outlined it in the correct color paint. So for the yellow, I'm putting down white first, otherwise the yellow doesn't show up very well. And for the black, I'm just using black. Once I have that outlined, I go ahead and fill in all of the pieces and I do a couple layers of each. The white is probably going to take more layers than the black, and once the white is dried, I go ahead and apply the yellow right on top of that and do a layer or two of that. And then I reshade the areas that I had to paint over because I almost forgot this piece, and then top it off with a glossy spray paint, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I'll be back with more videos. Bye! Thanks for watching!